Meanwhile, a homicide investigation is underway in the Electric City tonight. One teenager is dead. Another is injured after a stabbing in a shopping plaza near Scranton High School. 28, okay, near Scranton High School. A reporter Julie Dunphy is working this story, and um, we hope to have her in a minute. But in the meantime, we are waiting to learn more. We actually do. Let's go to Julie. You had a little technical problem there. Julie? Yeah, Nick, Candace, good evening. The family of another teenage boy is grieving tonight, just 18 years old. Now Scranton police are trying to piece together what led up to the stabbing on West Olive Street. Now police responded to the stabbings just before 3.30 in the parking lot of the Icebox Sports Complex. When Eyewitness News crews arrived, there was a heavy police presence and the scene was taped off near this entrance you're seeing to a Geisinger facility in the Turkey Hill near the intersection of West Olive and Providence Road. At the same time, nearby police detained at least two individuals suspected to be connected to the stabbing. Police say two victims were taken from the scene. One juvenile was treated for wounds and re later released. The other victim, an 18 year old man, died from his injuries. Eyewitness News caught up with Scranton Police Chief Tom Carroll after the scenes were cleared. Here's what he had to say. In the investigation, Scranton police have detained several persons and are investigating the incident, which is ongoing. We'll release information on the deceased pending next of kin notification. Meanwhile, the Scranton School District is taking extra precautions following these acts of violence that happened just across the street from the high school. According to a statement from the school district this afternoon, no outdoor activities will occur tomorrow and all secondary students will also be screened using metal detectors and wands tomorrow. No bags of any kind will be permitted in the building except for small clutch style bags for female students and lunch bags. Now, while police detained several people, there was no word tonight on any arrests made in that deadly stabbing. Again, that investigation is ongoing.